Hello friends, I am Rajneesh. Welcome back. Today in this session, we shall understand how to record the sessions of the user from the time he logs in till the time he logs out. As a system admin, you have been searching for some kind of application which records everything that a user does after he logs into the server. So the best approach could be use Suresh2. Suresh2 can be downloaded from the website which is sourceforge.net and here is the location that you can see okay let's come back to our virtual machine and try to install it so as of now first thing that you will have to do is uncompress the file I have at sudosh2.1.0 uh, the version is and you know the command is star zxvf to extract it and the second thing that I have done is to run configure what configure does is checks out where the code is to be deployed where the binaries and etc's are to be deployed by default it deploys them into user local as a prefix for example binaries will be there in user local bin s bin will be there in user local s bin and etc in user local etc and so on so i just ran them before the starting of the video the reason is it takes a couple of minutes to run configure okay so we have done two things tar zxvf to extract it and then getting into the directory and running configure the next step is to run make which is again going to take a few minutes let it complete so as soon as make is done the binary files will be prepared using GCC okay I forgot about a few things a few packages that must be present on it is make sure that the following packages GCC make and PAM devil should be present here make is installed GCC is installed and PAM devil is the package these three packages are required before the configure succeeds and before you are able to install it so the final step is make install which places the binary files into the location they should be placed so here you'll see user local bin and you can see sudosh is a file which is placed inside it so it's a shell so our objective is to record the sessions of every user that logs into it user mod minus s So I have modified the se shell of the user rcval to sudosh and one thing that we can do is etc default user add. You can modify the shell variable. So whenever you are creating a new user the shell that will be provided to that user will be sudosh rather than the previous shell that it was. For example user add test. Here you can see that the shell for the test user is now Sirosh. Let's give it some password. Okay, it needs to be complicated, so leave it as of now. I'll try to use a different user. SSH Rcval at IPA. Okay. okay let me change the password to the same one
okay that's the password okay now I log in into this machine and here okay so I am not able to log in because the shell that a user is allowed to log in into should be present in etc shells let me add into etc shell okay and here's the password okay so I am into it whatever command I type here you can see that the virtual shell that is provided is bin sh you can change it to bash sudosh.conf and the default shell that it provides to the user will be bash now here I come out of it and I open a new session and this time you'll see that you'll have a bash instead of sh and now whatever you type will be recorded this and I'm done I come out of it now if I just want to see what a user did I can just type sudo replay it will show me the sessions that have been created with sudo and if I just type sudo replay and the session ID it will display you the location the duration of the session is 13 seconds 39 seconds the time when the user logged in who was the user it was rcval it was root and to see the complete details of what he did sudo replay and then the session id that you can copy from here and here you can see the first thing he did was he logged into he had a look into the shell that it had so eco shell command was written on it and after that he just logged out so these are the three steps that were performed by him if you see if you watch again it will display you as if you have recorded it using a video so whatever command that user had written to the terminals will be recorded as it is this is how sudo works Thanks for viewing the video, have a good day.